좋고. 안녕하세요. I actually put myself in the waiting list by paying four British pounds on the 14th of September. Uh, then about the end of September, which was the 30th, uh, they sent me an email saying that I need to pay the full amount because I'm now just about to get the uh, purchase, the Steam Deck. And then uh, within about a week or so, so actually today is the seventh, so it's just over a week, I managed to get the Steam Deck myself here. So I'm sure many YouTubers out there have covered most of the aspect on the gaming side. My main interest is to try to use the Steam Deck as a Windows PC while you can play the game at the same time. I know this is going to be a bit tricky, but I also want to mainly focus on my profession, which is to do with uh, YouTubing and also AutoCAD as well, whether you could actually use AutoCAD at the same time. So trying to replace it with my gaming PC, the HP gaming PC here to see how it works. So I'm going to buy some accessories and so on. But enough said, let's get into the unboxing first. So here it goes. Wow, look at that. Your games are going places. Okay, that's good. And that seems to be just like a quick card for your intention. Oh, look at that. There's like um, Korean here, it says grandma's house. All right, so we got the UK um, power socket here, which is very convenient for me. Thank you very much. Just the very quick instructions on how to uh, use Steam Deck, I guess. So that's just pretty much it. It comes with a carrying case indeed. Wow, look at that. The actual strap covers a bit of a void on the back side because of the shape of Steam Deck, I presume. So let's, oh, that was quite thin. Anyway, the moment of truth, everyone. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this is much bigger than I thought, actually. I was expecting it to be sort of 70 to 80% smaller than this. So if you look at my hand size, that's how big it is. Power button here, the USB-C, the vent, and the earphone jack volume up and down. We got the um, L1, L2, and R1, R2 on both ends. And you know all the controllers, I really don't because I just bluntly bought it, but also there's the buttons on the backside as well. L4, L5, R4, and R5. So there's plenty of buttons that you can press and I'm sure you can customize it because that's what it's for. And, um, oh, actually, is that the way you put the memory card as well? And that's pretty much it, isn't it? Just so you know, if you're expecting to have a bit of a space to put in your power plug for your Steam Deck, this uh, default case is not suitable for that. This is purely for the protection of a Steam Deck console only. Okay, so it starts with what language? So I'll go for English, uh, Greenwich Mean Time, which is for Europe, okay. And I need to connect to Brexit means Brexit. So it's installing, take about a minute. Actually, it's um, two, three minutes. If you press those three dots on the right-hand side, you can actually adjust the brightness audio, Bluetooth, uh, microphone, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth setting as well. So I could turn on the Bluetooth and then connect it with my headphone, hopefully. So finally, after three restarts, now I can sign in. So let me get on with that. It's a bit of a vibration happening as well. That's very cool. I like that, but I have to say overall, it feels kind of light, mass produced, uh, the plastic 
is slightly cheap-ish fuel you have to, if I have to be very critical about it. Okay, so finally installed and logged in. So if I were to press, uh, this is actually Steam button. So library stores, okay, fine. And this is a quick access button, fine. And this, what is this? Uh, it's a power button. Yeah, I know that one. Everyone knows that one. And this is the volume button or you can use the three dots as well. And um, it's the SD card. Yeah, I know that I actually did highlight that uh, early on. So that's, thank you very much. I will have fun. So I got Romance of Three Kingdoms and Age of Empire. I'm sure many of you actually will find this very boring indeed, but I just want to try. These are the favorable games I actually play. So one of my favorite and I do pay, play for hours and hours is Romance of Three Kingdoms. So let's try it out, shall we? All right, so finally installed. And as you can see, I have actually played this game for 395 hours and that's incredible. I didn't realize that. Anyhow, let's play it. So moment of truth. Right, so it's taking a while to start this game for some reason. Now I can see the game actually happening on the backhand side. But if you go to controller settings, you can see that these are the settings that you could potentially change if you're not happy with it. So that's a bit of a assuring side. Okay. It's a bit slow, I have to say. Okay, so this is greatly troubling so far. I'm trying to play one of the most um, recognized simulation game of all time that actually has been going on for 20 or 30 years now called Romance of Three Kingdoms. I know this requires a lot of memory, but I've been actually waiting almost uh, seven or eight minutes trying to make this game start. Uh, it does feel like it's customized for the Steam Deck purpose, but we're not seeing anything happening at all. I mean, if this is what's required to play, trying to play a game every single time, forget about it. This is very disappointing. Okay, so I'm trying to play the Civilization. It's also questioning whether there's a compatibility issue, but nonetheless, uh, this is also a very alarming sound actually, but let's also install that as well. But in the meantime, I'm still waiting to play the Romance of Three Kingdoms and it's just not allowing me to play. This is really annoying. Okay, so I'm going to give up on Romance of Three Kingdoms and let's go for the next game, which is the Age of Empire, the, um, the special edition that I bought a while ago. This is the Definitive Edition. Okay, so Age of Empire 2 uh, Definitive Edition seems to be um, promising so far. Let's actually play some campaigns, okay? So, yeah, whatever. Skip. Okay, so I like the screen touch. That's quicker than somehow by using your mouse. Okay, now that's pretty good actually. So do I can actually Okay, so screen touch. That's very nice, isn't it? So you can actually command them to move around. Okay, so it's a mixture of um screen touch, but you need to also get used to how to um control these guys, you know? Oh yeah, here it goes. So yes. If you imagine the mouse is the left hand side key, key isn't it? So that's a very interesting um, sensation there. So attack. Okay. So that's very interesting because it's still a PC that, um, you know, you just need to get used to, to be able to use on this sort of joystick mode, which normally is designed for PC. But um, hey, I'm just trying to explore a different aspect on this. So Age of Empire 2 uh, Definitive Edition, I think you're going to be fine with it. I mean, for example, if you want to go for all these uh, sort of um, menus, like creating new units, you could just click on the screen. If you want to move them around with the mouse, just imagine that's the mouse pad. Or you can use these controllers, or you could also use the um, left hand side as the uh, left click of the mouse and right for the right click mouse. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so let's try the Sid Meier's um, Civilization game that I actually downloaded 
from Steam a while ago, shall we? Okay, so that seems to be working fine. You never know until you play the game, so let's just press continue. Fail to determine graphic device capabilities. What? Okay, agree to all. So let's play the um, single player. Okay, that's impressive actually. Right, so let's see if this works. So that's pretty good, isn't it? So if I would choose them and then ask them to move again. Yeah, so that seems to be working pretty well actually, and it actually has passed my expectations so far. So um, pretty good. So I just need to get used to which button I press for moving them around. Yeah. That's very good. Okay, now this is the Three Kingdoms Total War, which is some consider to be quite a good game actually. I I like Three Kingdoms uh, series actually, and um, hopefully this will work as well. Oh my God. Okay, so this is extremely slowing down. I don't think the Steam Deck that I bought is capable to run the uh, Total War uh, Three Kingdoms, unfortunately. It's now pretty much stuck and that is a huge disappointment, really. Um, unless I press the power button, yeah, it, we're pretty stuck with this game. Okay, so I substantially lowered the resolution, it seems to not... Uh, lag at all it's going well so far isn't it so you have to be cautious on um, what sort of resolution you use so far but the gameplay is yet to be revealed okay so I have to give a bit of a credit on uh, Steam Deck for this one actually so there's a bit of a lag actually but uh, that's fine perfectly playable um, I can hear the fan actually coming out uh, and um, it's playable. You won't really complain. Yeah, you can see that there's a bit of a lag here and there, but um, it's one of those things that I need to configure out how to use the actual button itself. Yeah, for the um, Total War Three Kingdoms, I decided to go for the resolution of the lowest, which is 1024 by 768 because that's the lowest um, ratio okay okay so this is the battle mode so let's actually choose all these units here and ask them to actually um attack these lot okay the graphic itself is is all right but it's not perfect there it's you know just lagging here and there and um there's a bit of a scrolling issue okay so you can see the battle scene <coughs> happening at the moment and I'm trying to zoom in to see. You gotta press this button to zoom in. So um, you can zoom right in and out. And um, there's a bit of a, um, yeah, there's a bit of a lag here and there as you can see. I think it's doable. Um, but yeah, there, there's, there's, there's this lagging. But then again, bear in mind, this is one of the latest um, strategy game. Um, and yeah, I'm basically being hammered by my opponents, but um, I think unless you're like, um, you're off to a perfect graphics, this is still doable. I mean, I'm zooming right in to the battle scene. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So well done for that. Wow. Not bad. But this is the lowest um, quality, by the way. So you would have noticed by now, I'm, nowadays I'm actually heavily focused on a strategy based or a simulation type of PC games. And I just wanted to see how capable Steam Deck is regards to these sort of type of games, which does eat up a lot of memory of your PC. Now, um, I'm starting to get the idea that um, probably Steam Deck is not ideal for it, especially you gotta spend all this time trying to find out how to actually use this button, which will be a bit of a challenge. But then again, I have actually played Romance of 
uh, Three Kingdoms on, uh, 14 on my PlayStation 4 and after about a few hours I really got really used to it so I was really speeding up so I don't see the big deal of it but the problem with Steam Deck is that Romance of Three Kingdoms 14 doesn't work at all it just stalls it stops so um, I wish Steam Deck could actually remind uh, the users saying that it, this does not work on Steam Deck or we're on a process of figuring out to make it work and so on. So there's a bit of a bis disappointment there. I think when it comes to the strategy game base, you have to be prepared to lower the resolution as much as possible. So uh, that will be my uh, warning and advice for you if you're considering to get one of these um, uh, Steam Deck to play your ideal game. So um, yeah, that's pretty much the first impression about it. I mean, it's, it's good weight. Um, I have to say I've been touching a lot of plastic nowadays. It's actually medium grade plastic and um, it's rather big actually. This, that's the size compared to my hand and my head and so on. So what I'm going to do is try to install the Windows software onto Steam Deck to see whether uh, you can actually uh, use AutoCAD or Office uh, based, um, Microsoft Office based software on it and so on. So um, also I'm going to look into the accessory side as well. So uh, this journey will continue. So please do stay tuned onto my channel and thank you very much for watching this video. This is LGBT Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.